Hello, I am Gregory the Poor Typist, and I have a long overdue typewriter video for you. Yes. Uh, first, before I get into it, I, I must say, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this has been a crazy few months, and I, I really, truly hope everybody's doing well. Um, and hopefully things get better for us all soon. Okay, that being said, this is going to be a new series of videos where hopefully I um, go through each of my typewriters in chronological order of when I got them. So we are starting right at the beginning with the typewriter that started it all. <laughs> uh, for better or for worse, um, yes. I like to think for better. So... Without further ado, let's take a look. Uh, it has a hard plastic cover uh, just on the top there. So we take that off to reveal. The Brother Charger 11. Yes. So, um, according to the typewriter database, and it was a little unclear the exact year of this, but partly because of the word correction right here, um, I believe that that pretty much put it to the early 70s, and then based on the, the serial number, or the, the first letter of the serial number, uh, it puts it about 1971. So uh, I believe this is a 1971 Brother Charger 11. Uh, this was found like a gleaming beacon on the top shelf of the electronics department at the Salvation Army thrift store. And it was originally marked at $20, which is actually still written on the bottom of the typewriter. And they were having a 60% off sale, so it was 8 dollars and I, I did do a, a brief test there in the store and this is the original ribbon that it came with and it it basically works so um i'm i'm not gonna build this up you know it's not it's i would i would say you know it's it's far from the best typewriter in my collection but this is the one that started it all. And I am thankful for that, especially at $8. <laughs> um, out of the working typewriters in my collection, if I were to sell some, this would be probably one of the first to go. Uh, just because, uh, I don't know, it's just not my favorite. But, uh, I believe at the time that these came out, this was probably kind of a lower end brother uh, typewriter. Maybe for like, uh, uh, you know, a student or um, someone just starting out in the workforce. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It works. And yeah, so I have no complaints there. It's kind of no frills. Um, we do have the, the, uh, ribbon selector here. Um, I originally thought that, it, I don't know, it just looked a little weird that it's just a metal bar. And I originally thought it was missing a knob, but based on other pictures I've seen, this is actually how it is, but it is missing the sticker. Um, there should be a sticker here identifying the colors, but this is the black setting. That's the uh, stencil setting. And that's the red setting. So, uh, yeah. And I do like the uh, carriage return lever. It, t it tucks down nicely. You just pop it up like that, and you're ready to go. You have your uh, margin settings here. You know what? I've, I've never looked for tabs, but I, I'm pretty sure this does not have tabs. Um, yeah, it, it wouldn't have tabs, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it that's that's basically it. It's, it's very no frills. 
the, the lid just came into, it comes off like that. Has the, the rubber holes there that this just fits in nicely. The inside of the lid there. Um, it is a um, carriage shift, which of course carriage shift uh, can typically, you know, be kind of heavy. Um, a lot of people that type properly, you can't see it right now. A lot of people that type properly, you know, they do it with their, their pinky. But honestly, this this typewriter is so small that that's, I doubt that it would be an issue for anyone. One thing I, <laughs> I did discover when I was very first typing with this is this ribbon doesn't have grommets. So you kind of have to keep an eye on it and, and you know, see when it gets to the end. Uh, I, I should just change out the ribbon, but this, this ribbon still has a lot of ink on it actually. So yeah, so it's, it's going to stay for now and I'll just have to keep an eye on it as I'm typing. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's basically all there is to it. So let's do a test typing here my backing sheet ready to go. There we go. This would be a great typewriter for... Yeah, we're pretty good there. Good enough anyway. Uh, this would be a great typewriter for um, uh, a young person just starting out with typewriters. Um, partly because, you know, it's kind of no frills and uh, no fancy features. Um, there's, as a result, there's probably less to go wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, so um, let's do a, a test typing here. Yeah, so it, it has a nice typeface. As you can see, the the ink is is nice and and uh, dark. Um, I'm trying to think what issues this has. Um, not many that I can think of offhand. It does have uh, issues with ghosting. I don't know if you can pick that up there. Um, again, here on the L, uh, some ghosting where it's kind of double striking a little bit. Um, but, you know, that could partly be uh, user error. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't call myself the poor typist for nothing, so uh, my form is, is probably lacking. But, you know what, it, it works. It's, as you could hear, it's pretty loud. Uh, the, the platen is pretty hard. It's not the hardest I've, I've felt, but... Uh, yeah, it, overall, it's a, a very lo loud typewriter. I suppose I could um, maybe put some soundproofing in there, although I don't know how, how much that would actually help, though. Um, but it could theoretically help, at least a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, let's try it in red. works well also. Um, I don't know if you can see here on the word there, the E and the I, the spacing is a little bit off. So, you know, it has has little little things that are wrong with it. But overall, this is, this is a darn near perfect typewriter. Um, just super easy to use. Um, the touch, uh, I don't remember, does this have a, a touch selector? Um, no, it does not. No, it does not. But you know, and that's, that's not that surprising because this is, this is just a bare basic typewriter, no frills. Again, it was probably on the, the cheaper end. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I like it. Um, no complaints, but again, you know, I don't know. It, 
maybe the sound of it, it, it has a very tinny sound. Not, not like, uh, some typers you type on them and it, it sounds like it could fall apart at any moment. It doesn't sound like that. It's just very a very metallic sound, and it does have a, a metal body, so that's that's something in its favor, right? Yeah. Um, let's, let's just do a little bit more typing here. I, I'm not even sure what I'm going to type. Um, and I, <laughs> at this point, I will point out uh, the fact that it it doesn't have the the one or the exc exclamation point. Yeah, so uh, this is the Brother Charger 11 from 1971. Um, website there. <laughs> I should have put that in red. No. <laughs> yeah, the, again, this is the, the Brother Charger 11 from 1971. I guess technically it's the Brother Charger 11 correction. Um, a, a good starter typewriter. Um, I, I would not hesitate to take this to a type-in um, yeah, there's not, I, I, I seriously doubt there's much that could go wrong with it at a type in. Um, I would probably replace the ribbon though and, and, um, you know, replace it with a, a ribbon with grommets so that it, it could do the, the, um, direction change there because you do have the, the direction change, um, levers there, I guess you call them. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I am the poor typist. So <laughs> anyway, just a quick video here. Um, what a find for $8, right? <laughs> My goodness. And this started it all. And now I have well over 20 typewriters. Um, most of which are working to some degree. I have a very small handful that are not working. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know that I would necessarily keep them for parts. I just don't know what to do with them yet, whether it's sell them, give them away, or whatever. But this one is staying in the collection for now. Um, if I get to a point where I really feel like I need to downsize, um, I'll, I'll probably let go of this one just because it is working. I could probably get a little more money for it. Um, yeah, it's a good little machine. Just not my favorite. No offense, brother. But <laughs> all right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, this has been the Brother Charger Eleven from 1971. I will see you next time.